So this one isn't as fun because it's another example of Laura Ingram being a terrible person. It was after rap, uh, rapper Nipsey Hussle died and he inspired so many people with his community service and his message of economic empowerment, but Laura Ingram felt differently. Hip hop artist Nipsey Hussle was shot in front of a store, his own store. And recently, Fox News decided to cover him in the worst possible way. Laura Ingram talked about him in a segment. But before we get to the segment, I do want to just quickly talk about who Nipsey Hussle is because he was more than a hip hop artist. What he did in the community and what he did in revitalizing Crenshaw was incredibly important. Crenshaw is a part of Los Angeles and he had a history and an involvement with gangs, but he really turned his life around and became an entrepreneur. And he really did focus his businesses on providing opportunities for people who had previously been in prison, but had been out of prison and were looking to turn their lives around. He created opportunities for them so they would have a second chance. He did a lot of really great things in the community. So again, he was more than just a hip hop artist, but these are facts and this is information that Fox has absolutely no interest in, particularly Laura Ingram. And so one day after his funeral, this is the type of commentary that she shared on her show. Take a look. Yesterday in LA, thousands lined the streets to say goodbye to rapper Nipsey Hussle. Now, this dear artist recently released a song called FDT. F Donald Trump. Okay, now that's a very creative refrain. Very catchy. Very catchy. catchy. Irving and Berlin, is look it, out. Is it? <laughs> It all began and ended with Irving Berlin yeah. for you, didn't it? Yeah. Um, so the the refrain, the chorus, it goes on and on. Is that related to the lowest unemployment ever, basically, oh, okay. for African Americans? But, but okay. So uh, this prompted a response, not just from you know average Americans who came across that segment, but from uh, members of uh, the hip hop community, the rap community, Snoop Dogg, T.I., The Game and others, other notable hip hop and R&B artists are calling on Fox to fire Laura Ingram for her disrespect of the slain rapper. The artist shared clips of Nipsey Hussle in her segment, drawing millions of views and mounting support for their campaign against Ingram. So. So I'm sorry, the, the artists posted about it on their social media accounts, which drew a lot of attention to it. And now uh, there is an effort to get her fired. So this has happened before, but usually without the weight of public figures behind it. Um, and so I'm curious to see what the reaction is gonna be from Fox because they've stood by their hosts. Uh, they've stood by Tucker Carlson when all of those terrible audio clips came out where he's saying, things about women, and they supported Laura Ingram when she attacked David Hogg, who was there during that terrible shooting in Parkland. He witnessed his peers getting gunned down, and she felt the need to you know, mock him and make fun of him. So what do you guys make of this? I don't know. It was gross. I mean, first of all, you know, if you saw pictures of the his funeral and of just like the procession, there were there were indeed thousands of people there. It was there were more people than Trump's inauguration mourning this rapper she's laughing at. And I do hate the um, he was more than a rapper because it it kind of like goes back to that stereotype that like rappers that's a trash career. I, I mean they are making millions of dollars entertaining yeah. us. There's no. nothing wrong with that. But he was like more than his career for sure. And I. Can I jump in on that? So yeah. I, the reason why I say it is not because I'm trying to trash that career. I mean, of course, like there's uh, an importance to that, especially an important storytelling component of that industry. But the reason why I bring that up is because oftentimes with these right wingers and these conservatives, they keep talking about, oh, why don't you make something of yourselves? Right. You know, um, they they spread these stereotypes about people of color and how you know they don't have it you know they don't have it in them to be entrepreneurs they don't have it in them to help their own communities and even when members of that community do exactly that right. they still find ways to trash them and minimize them and belittle them and that's the reason why I bring that up mostly to 
negate you know the talking points that you see from Fox. I get that. I wasn't talking about you, sorry. Yeah. I was talking about because no. me, I was responding to her calling him a rapper, and then I was going to explain that he was more than that, but more correcting myself, mm-hmm. like, like because I don't want to be perpetuating the same stereotype that I'm trying to like correct her on. Mm-hmm. But um, I just think it's disgusting when anybody dies that you're laughing at it. This yeah. man was a father. Like, forget his career, forget all the great things he'd done. There's a family that is mourning him, his mother, his father, his brother, his sister, his nephew, his children, his girlfriend, and she's on national television laughing about it. Somebody who died, let alone, like, I mean, he was doing good for the Crenshaw Slauson community up until his death. He was actually at his store that morning without security because a friend had gotten out of prison and he wanted to lace him up with some good clothes before he went to meet his family for the first time. Like he wanted to like encourage, they only hired felons, mm-hmm. people who struggle to get a job. Yep. And it, this is the same thing she did to Kevin Durant, same thing she did to LeBron. It's like black people, it's fun to make fun of. They're not allowed to be smart. But then on the other end, she there's this constant complaint about like messing up the culture of America that kind of comes from her. And so when black people are smart, which they always are, like it's that's, an, that's another problem for her. Yeah. It's, so the problem well, is just black. The, you know, he did exactly <laughs> yeah. what they're always talking about, what you were just talking about, yeah. the, the entrepreneur, the pull yourself up by your bootstraps, the, the building within the community, create, he actually created jobs versus their you know, fake job creation thing mm-hmm. and this and that. But it, Fox News isn't gonna do anything because this plays right into their base, right? Exactly sure. what you said, this is the evil black guy. This is a rapper, he's a thug, he's a- and He's attacking they our president, right? They showed the video, right? and, it and wasn't him in the video. That was a different rapper, that was YG. But again, it falls onto their, well, they all look alike, right? So Gail King and Robin Roberts are the same, mm-hmm. and this and that. The other thing is, you know, this was tax day, right? Mm-hmm. You, you know, Fox News loves misdirection. So on tax day, when a lot of their base found out that they didn't get their tax cut, mm-hmm. they didn't get back the money, they, they don't have $10 million. What better way to, to, to take the news off of that than to show another evil black guy? Mm-hmm. Here's an evil black guy, and they love that. They, this, is, this is perfect, this is the, the rapper, the thug, South Central LA where the gangs are and the riots are and blah, blah, fill in the stereotype. And then he's backed up by people like the game and Snoop and so on so that they can pile on mm-hmm. more rapper, thug, criminal, you know. So is Fox News, no, Fox News doesn't care. Now if, you know, Coca-Cola and, and uh, Ford and, you know, whatever, if they said do something, that's when they're gonna listen. They're, well, they're not gonna listen to people. They, they listen when they get enough pressure from advertisers because it's business. But for Fox News, making fun of Nipsey Hussle's funeral and death is that's exactly what their base wants. It is what their base wants, I, I, I certainly don't deny that. But the one thing that I unfortunately have to push back on is that they don't listen even if it does affect their business. Because a number of advertisers and sponsors have pulled out of Janine Pirro's show, of Tucker Carlson's show. Tucker Carlson's show is yeah. crickets. It's like the same commercials over and over again and they don't care. I don't you know what you they're don't doing. Need the pillow? <laughs> right. Because the pillow guy <laughs> is gonna stay there no matter what. So I don't know how many pillows he's moving. Right. But man, those pillows you must be just flying off the shelves. Can we also point out how I don't, if that, that was her angle that he disrespected the president, but it, it was just full of fact errors because the song was three years old. Yeah. It was, Nipsey was featured in the song, but it was YG's song. Mm-hmm. Nipsey was featured in it, and the song was three years old. They weren't disrespecting the president, they were disrespecting a man who was running for president at the time That's and right. trying to encourage people. In Los Angeles, in the black community, there are people who are traditionally seen as people who don't vote or don't care or don't think they matter to get out and vote, which I don't have a problem with. Yeah, exactly. It was before the general well, election. This and was so old. So why, why is she even bringing this up? Because she's, there are certain words I can't use on the show, so <laughs> okay. I'm going to hold back and not use them. But she defends Trump to the death, okay. uh, unless Trump is not fulfilling uh, her wishes in regard to immigration. Right, that was that was the only time that I've seen her be critical of Trump. 
Um, but did you want to say something? Well, they're going to find a clip. It doesn't matter when it's from. Mm -hmm. They're going to find a clip. But here's the thing, just for the record, I'm okay with disrespecting him, whether he's running for president, whether he is president, after he's no longer president. If you want to disrespect Trump, I'm on board. <laughs> I'm with you. I got your back. Yeah, I mean, he's a person that in too. a position of power, right? So if you're disrespecting him, you're punching up, that's for sure. Um, so I want to give you a quick quote from Nipsey Hussle, and this was in regard to the, sh the song that uh, has Laura Ingram so upset. Here's what he says about Trump. Honestly, his views of Mexicans was one of the things that really turned me off to Trump. Aside from me having an assertion that he was just a privileged rich dude that got an out of touch view of the world, that made me feel like this dude is definitely out of his mind and our country sounding crazy for even taking him as a legitimate candidate. And so he was very much aware of the issues, very much aware of Trump's stance on immigration and you know the Mexican community here in the United States. And if the way that people express themselves varies and the way that hip hop and rap artists express themselves is through their music. And anyone can pick a quick 10 second component of any rap song or hip hop song and make it seem like that's all they do. But the reality is, Rap music and hip hop music shares a story that hasn't been told in the traditional ways of, of storytelling. It just hasn't. And so they don't care to understand that. They don't care to learn about that. They just, again, want to speak to their base, right. which is full of scared, hateful, bigoted people. Those are the and people who watch that and they think that was a great segment. Mm -hmm. The last line of Nipsey Hussle's quote right there could have been any civilized country on earth other than Russia. That you know that yeah. how can the U.S. take him seriously as a candidate? The world has been asking that from for you for literally for years now. They're like, but but what's wrong with you guys? I know. How did you take it? You know, and uh, well, this this is who we are. Unfortunately, I mean, you know, Fox is still the most watched news channel there is, sure. right? This so is so America. you know, like it or not like it. This is who who America is. Oh, I think depressing. you said something important though, kind of that reminded me of like tone policing and how we've just got to get out of that and how ridiculous that is. Like Bill Cosby was raping women and talking tone policing young black boys. Do you know what I mean? Like she on a consistent basis spews racism yes. on live television, but also then preaches respectability politics. Oh, it's such a good point. And yes. just because of what she looks like, it just it's fine. It's like, yo, okay, yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Yeah, just because she doesn't, you know, use curse words while mm -hmm. she's saying her hateful things doesn't make her hateful rhetoric any better. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.